Hi, my name is Jad. Uh, um, please uh, subscribe to Sitkan channel. speculations that who is going to win Big Boss OTT season 2 there was also speculation that how is he his name is pronounced is it Jad 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 or J Jad you tell us how is your name pronounced what's more comfortable to you anything that works <laughs> okay so it's not that uh, you, can, you don't have to stress on it that much this is Jad 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 okay that's okay. simple <laughs> J-A-D Jad okay so Jad tell me um, one week before the grand finale, mm -hmm. ups and you're out. Upset, hurt, or relieved that you're out? Um, neither, honestly. None of these options. So what are you feeling right now? I miss that home. Okay. It, I cannot call it a house. It's home. Because uh, the moment I, I, uh, I arrived there, I was welcomed in uh, Big Boss House, uh, was the moment I switched off from my reality and my life and switched on to uh, Big Boss House. And uh, I thought to myself, okay, this is home. Wow. And I treated it as my home. Right. Um, as you guys have seen, I think uh, the way I take care of things and the way I'm like neat and uh, tidy and uh, clean and every time I do something, I clean after me and I fix my bed properly. And uh, even when I when I do the jaro, yeah. <laughs> and I sweep the floor or the garden, I make sure it's perfect. Right. So because it is, it was home to me. It was the place that sheltered me for almost seven weeks. Seven weeks. Yes, uh, it was the place I slept in. I. Uh, rested in. I uh, I had the roof on top of my head when it was raining outside, and I can I can't imagine how many people were sleeping on the streets without a shelter, without a roof on top of their head, or food to eat. I've had everything in that uh, in that house. That's why I called it home. On top of all that, I had some people in it, which happened uh, to become family to me, not uh, only uh, contestants or friends. So this was um, the reason why I, I considered that place home, not uh, house. But you also had a breakdown two weeks ago where you confessed to Bebika that uh, you feel isolated because of language restrictions. Yeah, well, you know, I got, I got to that point uh, because many times I felt like I'm sitting between everyone and they're speaking a language that I barely can understand. The only thing I can understand is the body language sometimes. I can pick words and maybe relate the body language to the words I, I heard so I can connect something and get out something out of the conversation. But it was so difficult every time I have to ask for a translation. I mean, it's not comfortable like sitting someone and every like two or three minutes you have to ask them, what? What did they say? Yeah. Huh? What was it about? Right. And they have to translate the whole conversation to you. It's bothering right. to them and it's bothering me that I had to ask every time. So that's why I slightly I started feeling, um, you know, getting into my own zone. Right. And of course, due to, due to some incidents. Hmm. Look, we're living in a house in a place where people don't even know each other. Imagine you fight even if you live with your own parents at home, with your own children, with your husband. You fight with, with these close people that you live with. Imagine I'm living with people from different culture. I don't know anything about them. Different uh, language, barrier, huge barrier to me. Um, uh, I, was, uh, I was mistaken in many places uh, because I'm emotional and I'm expressive. And uh, to me, I connect my energy to people sometimes through hugging them. And I was misunderstood right, right. through a lot of places where they felt like I even hug Avinash or, or, or Abhishek. It's, it's not. They only saw when I'm hugging the girls, obviously. Yes, yes. They didn't see when I'm hugging actually my, my housemates, the guys. I'm, I'm like, I share this energy with them. So this is how I am. It's not that 
I'm, I'm, I like to hug and touch people. I don't do that. And when I hug someone, I hug them from all my energy and I, all my power. So uh, that's why I feel like I was misunderstood in some places because of uh, the way I am. And obviously where I come from, we, I, we express in a different way. We express our love maybe or our um, passion to people that we, we, we somehow care about differently than here, I guess. I, I'm just lost because I've seen some stuff that I read and things that kind of bothered me. Right. Um, well, I, I cannot judge and I cannot say anything because, um, as I said, I come from a different culture, from a different environment, different people, di different world. And the way I express is different than the way people express uh, their feelings and their love here. So um, it saddens me because uh, I had zero intentions. Yeah. Zero intentions since because, the beginning. Because there has been, uh, you know, daily updates on yeah. social media about how you were hugging and kissing Akanksha Puri and then with then Jia Shankar and then there was this viral video where, uh, 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 you know, uh, Ashika Bhatia was hugging you from behind and then people said that, you know, how you were touching her uncomfortably also. So yes, there have been uh, news articles okay. regarding that too. But what I wanted to ask you is, uh, you were pretty, uh, your game was going pretty strong till that kiss with Akanksha Puri happened. Akanksha Puri had spoken exclusively to us mm -hmm. where uh, she said that she did have a so, uh, soft corner for you. But then Same. suddenly what happened was, uh, she said when that kiss happened, she took that kiss as a task, but you took it, you took it a step further. And then after that point, she kind of stepped back. What do you have to say about that? I took it a step forward uh, negatively. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, not really, because I think I said a joke uh, to Avinash. <laughs> and she's a bad kisser. <laughs> no, yeah. she's not. So a bad, she's not a bad kisser at all. Actually, okay. she was a great kisser. <laughs> okay. But it was out of a joke because um, uh, they put me under under pressure. And um, at that moment, I felt uh, because I was I had my eyes closed and uh, I was connected to my feelings. I, w I was disregarding her like so I was kissing her with all my energy and I closed my eyes. So I wasn't actually paying attention to what she's doing. But at some point I felt like she's, she was just froze. She was frozen. Okay. She wasn't uh, reacting with me. Hmm. Um, uh, that was around like the, the last 10, 15 seconds. And then it was over, the count was over. And I went to Avinash and I told him, she's a bad kisser. That was my mistake. I shouldn't have done that. And no, she's not a bad kisser. She's a great kisser. And um, yes, I had a big soft corner for her, not a small one. And I still do. And I still find her a very attractive uh, lady. And um, she has a very promising future, that's for sure. Already she is a star here. Um, um, if I can go back in time, I would definitely correct that point. Would you call her now? I would definitely love to call her. Yes, and I will, I'm looking forward to seeing her too. Nice. So we can talk about this Indian marriage thing. Okay. <laughs> you also had this on-off relationship with Jia Shankar. Yes. You also called her uh, like your daughter Katliya. And then suddenly things completely changed for the both of you. So what is your current equation with her? Well, I'm going to go a little uh, backward just to start from a certain point. Um, uh, this connection started with uh, Gia in the beginning. It was really nice. And then in some situations, I was trying to, to ask her how old is she many times. And she always find... Uh, finds a way to run away from the question. So, but in my head, the way she is and how cute and how, you know, she, she looks, the way she behaves in the beginning, she was like small girl, like 22, 21, 20. So for me, I'm like, you know, in my mind, you know, she's young, just don't, don't even think about this. Give her that little spot in your heart and put her next, next to Katalea. So, and I started acting according to that. And um, I was very careful and I was very caring as well. 
And um, I surrounded her with many emotions. And uh, I was uh, around her most of the time, looking out for her, taking care of her. If she's sad, if she's... But when she was happy, she wasn't around me. She used to be around other people. When she was sad and down, she used to be around me. She needed that attention and um, uh, affection for me, I guess. Um, um, it kind of drifted a little bit when, um, during tasks and uh, some situations, I can't, I can't really remember much, but I was kind of disappointed in some places. First, when I found out about the age thing and I didn't want to be misunderstood wrong. Okay, you know, she's 30 years old, Jad. No, you can't have that. I mean, you can still be close and friends, but you should put limits to that. Um, uh, because she's very moody, okay? Mm -hmm. And when she's happy, sometimes she's like little, this little girl. Mm -hmm. She comes around a little bit and that, that makes my heart very soft. That makes my heart melt. And then she goes away and then suddenly she flips. She becomes upset or angry from something. And then I see another person hmm. completely. So I had this roller coaster of emotions with her. But all in all, um, what disappointed me most is because it was, whether it was me or Avinash, we have showed a lot of respect, of support, of uh, good intentions towards her. And all she did is stabbing us and acting like a snake. So and that hurt me and hurt Avinash a lot, especially when it came down to the, remember the desk where she was sitting on the chair for the, the captaincy and they were throwing stuff on her? That was boiling, I was boiling, I was dying. I said something maybe I shouldn't have said back then and um, it hurt me so much to see her like that. With all these things that I've been through, with all the things that Avinash been through with her, uh, we were never priority to her. She was only around us when there's an opportunity. So would you want to go back and be friends with her, or it's game? It's completely a relationship. Look, you know, I don't, uh, I don't have this thing in me. I don't hold hate, grudge. I, I let go a lot, and um, I move on. Right. But you know, when, because. These, uh, these painful feelings that you, you got during these seven weeks, it's just the seven weeks. It's not like been there for right. years and something happened before and it carried on. No, it was just the period of time. And because it was a show, because it was somehow people were impulsive, I was impulsive. I was um, um, reacting sometimes in ways that I wasn't able to contain myself. Um, I understand that whatever they do, they do it for the moment, okay? But sometimes you're in a reality show and you have to show your reality. You have to be yourself. Right. You don't have to be understood wrong. Right. So that's why if, if I was angry, I was angry. I, I, you can see, you can tell. I, sh I show it, I don't hide it. If I'm sad, if I'm upset, you can see it. Like, what she did was unforget unforgettable and unforgivable in some points. But then, what, what am I going to take this with me? Where? It's going to be behind and I'm going to move on. And no, of course, I would, I would definitely love to see her again. I would definitely l uh, love to meet her again. But because um, I, know, I know for a fact that whatever she's done, whatever she, uh, how, however she reacted and behaved, it's not her 100%. It's definitely not her 100%. In real life, I'm 100% sure she's not like that. Sitke Kangar, which is rapid fire. The girl in the Big Boss house with whom you thought you could have a future together. <laughs> no one, honestly. No one? You said you have a soft corner for yeah, Akanksha. Well, soft corners. Oh. You know, I mean, it's not for it's not, it's not true. You have to live with the person outside cameras, outside like real life. Okay. You have to go through um, obstacles, challenges, um, time. 
with them. You cannot just judge like, um, okay, one week, two weeks, I can live for the rest of my life with you. No, you can't do that. Because I'm sure it's different right. when, you, when you interact with someone without the spotlight, okay. you know, on one-on-one in, in, in real life uh, journey. It's different. Right. So, uh, but the closest person to that part was, yes, I can't, uh, I can't deny it, it was Akanksha. And if we ever met again, I wish we would, and I hope we will. And I'm definitely gonna, uh, gonna hold her with all my power. Is Elvish the express- mastermind? Elvish the mastermind? Because you, you you also complimented him for exposing Gia's game in the first day of the house. Um, he's very smart. Okay. I gotta admit, this guy is very smart. And he he's impulsive, yes. He's very impulsive and he's got really good observation. But the good the thing is that he have watched the show before he comes in. Ah. He had an idea. So I think it was easy for him to spot Easily. Who's what? Who's, who's what, what and who's who and, you know, but I, I think because the, the moment he looked at me and uh, after like a while we had a nice conversation, he was very positive with me. He's like, you have a good heart. Okay, Salman bashed Abhishek Malhan recently mm. uh, during this week in Kavar where he said that you are, uh, you think that because of your followers, people are watching this show. Abhishek discussed this with you that why he thinks he deserves to win the show. Do you think he was bashed unnecessarily or it was it was fine? It was it was the right thing to do by Salman. Um, look, there's no right or wrong. There's no right or wrong. Honestly, um, this is a reality show and everything is recorded. So whatever we say, whatever we talk about, whatever we do, even if we whisper, it's there. It's monitored, it's heard. So um, I don't think it's wrong at all. Um, uh, Abhishek expressed himself and um, this is how he feels. And he's allowed to feel whatever he wants to feel. And uh, from my own perspective, it wasn't about the followers. Yes, he cares about that part because he gives a lot from his himself to his platform on YouTube, to on Instagram and uh, him and uh, Elvish, by the way. Um, and they feel, for some reason, when you, when you work on yourself a lot and you give a great content to people and people participate in that and see it and uh, share it and do all these things, that means they are part of this. So why am I doing all this hard work? Why? There must be a reason. So you guys are on this platform. Your appreciation is appreciated. Right. So to him... It's of course they're going to support me. Of course my fans are going to do this. Of course so I, I definitely deserve to win. I have a huge fan base. I'm, I'm, I'm a, I give a lot of myself on my platform. I dedicated everything in my energy and my power in this house. Of course I deserve it. And yes, maybe he was one of the... To me, personally, I see him the strongest in the house. Whether him or Elvish. I see them the strongest because... Yes, they are, because I, I understood the game late. Right. It was my mistake. Yeah. If I understood the game earlier, I would have definitely played better and played differently. You definitely played better because leaving the house a week before the finale is an amazing task. <laughs> Nobody weeks. knew you before you joined the show. So all the best. Thank Congrats. you so much. <laughs>